Hey guys, so Aaron here again um, with a uh, knife review today. Um, this time it's the uh, 210 millimeter Masakagi Yuki series. Uh, the Yuki series is the uh, white number two version of it. They also make a blue two Aogami Super Steel and a um, Damascus VG10. Um, some specs and just you know nothing too technical, but just some you know, what I noticed and such. Then I'll uh, show you what this thing can do. Um, it is a Kuruchi finish, which is um, you know, right here is a kind of a rustic finish. Um, it is uh, jacketed in stainless steel, so you don't have to worry about the um, core steel rusting. It's only going to patina just right about there, just right at the. Uh, um, lamination line between the two, so not a lot, not really a whole lot of um, upkeep. You know, just to wipe down, keep it dry like usual carbon, but a lot less forgiving, or a lot more forgiving, I should say. <clears throat> the handle is just a um, simple oval handle, which is you know pretty comfortable. You don't have to worry about D shapes. You know, if you're righty lefty, so it's user friendly for either. Um, it's a uh, resin ferrule, and there's no um, it's completely smooth. There's no uh, um, no differences between the two in, uh, in terms of you know they didn't sand it right or such. It's very good fit and finish. The um, one thing I do like a little more actually anymore, and I didn't care for it when I first started using knives, was a really big pinch. You know. You know, area here by the uh, toil and uh, heel area. You know, some knives they just you know it's like really tight, so you know trying to get a decent pinch grip it's kind of hard. But here you have a lot of real estate, you know, so you can get a real good solid grip on it. You know, going through butternut squash and you know they're real hard dense veggies. Or if you know you're doing stuff at you know kind of real fast speeds and such, you know you got you know really good control. You know, this knife is not going anywhere. Um. It's uh, no flex. This this is very very rigid knife. Um, it is actually uh, hardened to 62 to 63 on the scale. Usually I've seen a lot of white twos taken to normally about 61 to 62. So this one has about an extra point of hardness. So a little better edge retention. Um, gets smoking sharp easy. I mean, I've actually been using this at work for the past couple of weeks and you know on off with my other stuff, but. I just touched up the, uh, I'm probably going to butcher this, the uh, Irish Yama, sorry again, uh, 6,000, or it's, you know, also sold under a, uh, another name, I forget what it is, for an 8, 8K stone. Basically, the stone cuts like a 6K, finishes a little more like an 8K, in a nutshell. So, yeah, like I say, this is an old edge, pretty old, couple weeks, so like I say, at least. And um, so you'll see, it still has you know, a good bit of edge retention left on on it. Um, I I wouldn't classify it as a laser. I would call it like a middle middle weight, you know, because it it's you know it's a little it has some heft in, it, not you know not, not a ton, but you know it's it, it's got a little bit, you know, it's not a laser. Um, the grinder on it though is uh, not sure if you can catch that. It's pretty it's pretty good. You know, it's it's. You know, thinner towards the you know the uh, edge and you know tapers up. So, but usually right about right here, you know, it's it's nice and thin, so it'll it, it can go through product pretty good. Um, yeah, so got a few things here, not a whole lot, kind of kind of meager here on uh, produce. So, a couple of things here we'll check for you know. You know, the basics, you know, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do any rocking motions and such because um, I don't do that anymore. Haven't for quite a while, so let's see what happens. Um, yeah, simple little cherry tomato, we'll see how sharp it is. No more problems. Now, granted, like I say, with the whole, you know, blasting through a tomato type thing, it's all cool, well, fine, dandy. I've done it enough times. It's good for putting a little smile on your face. But, like I say, this is an old edge. I mean, so the teeth on it have been broken off and such, you know, through just, you know, use on poly boards at work, which will kill pretty much any edge pretty quick. I mean, so, I don't know if this is going to work. If it does, hey, it does.
bad. Works. So, how do you say? And that's a, probably at least I'd say a good two to three weeks edge usage. So, um, carrot. Always, always a pain in the ass to do because they, you know, you can actually really tell a good, you know, how the grind is on a knife through uh, carrots. See how much of an actual you know, wedge on it, and you know, kind of crack more and split. See, I mean, it, it, unless you have a laser, you know, you're, you're always going to wedge just a tiny bit on a on a carrot anyway. And actually, for the price point, Masakagi, they're very, very reasonably priced. I had a chance to use a uh, Eogami Super Steel uh, Gyo of theirs uh, a couple of months ago, and it was. They uh, they make a lot more of a uh, laser than the uh, Yuki series I found. See what I mean by having that nice, you know, good choke point. You know, you can really, you know, get behind it. You know. Especially like I said, when going through denser vegetables, you know, carrots and such. You know, you're not, you know, kind of fighting. You know, and it's comfortable too. You know, you can get a full. I'm not sure if you can pick that, but like, you know, you can get a full thumb, you know, forefinger and everything behind that. You know, really make it stabilized. Um, potato. Once again, we don't do a whole lot of potatoes at work, and you know, I don't do a metric ton of them when I'm off, so we'll uh, check for non-stick properties. A little bit, but just, I mean, just really a hair. I mean, it's, you know, these are kind of starchy potatoes, so, I mean... So yeah, it has, you know, it does, it does have a little bit of convex to it, but not enough to make it fully uh, non-stick, which, you know, so, so far, like I say, it's, you know, it's a really good knife for, you know, home use, pro use, you know, whatever you're really in the mood for looking. Finish things off. And incidentally, the uh, tip area is actually ground pretty, pretty good and thin, so you know it's gonna whip through things you know, without too much effort. You know, depend on you know, the how stuff is. So like I say, you know, it's not a laser, you know, it's, it's, it's not, you know, it's, it's medium, you know, so you can use it, you know, all day, you know, not get real, you know, hand fatigue, hand fatigue like you know, you'll do when, you know, you use heavier knives. But then again, you won't get the outright performance of a laser where you can just rifle through things, you know, at breakneck speed. So, you know, it's, a, it, it's actually a really good mix of, between the two. Masakagi Yuki 210 Kyoto.